Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to export our data from our from Shogun Post in FBX format for use in Motion Builder. Um, so what we'll start with is a quick explanation of what we're going to do. So let's open the database from where you um, opened the files originally. So from the original database, we're going to open and export the first two ROMs that we did of Andy and Lindel. That's all we're going to need from our original database. We're not going to need the swords or these fight takes because you'll have a separate folder for working from. So the first thing we need to do is to load each of the ROM takes in and then use a pipeline operation to export the FBX data. Then we will load in each of our finished fight takes that you've been cleaning and run another script to export them as FBX. Uh, and then we can bring all the files together in Motion Builder. So let's start off with um, our ROM takes. So our first ROM here, Andy ROM 001, if we double click on the little green VDF symbol to load that data in. Okay, that's loaded in and we can see our ROM take here. Now, as in the previous video, um, characters and props are dealt with in different ways in Vicon Shogun Post. Characters have solving and labeling setups. Props only have labeling setups. So what we're going to use is specific scripts here that will deal with um, those differences. So I have my pipeline um, window open over here, but let's close that quickly and you can see. So we've loaded our ROM take in and you can see we've got Andy ROM with a labeling and solving setup present in there and all ready to export. So we go to the panels tab on our tab shelf and open the pipeline window. As in Shogun, if you've opened this previously, it will be lit up green showing that it's somewhere in the UI and I've got it docked on top of the subnet management window so I have the tabs to work through here. So we're going to need to use a special pipeline to export only a character. There are no props in this scene. So if we look at our drop down list in current pipeline, we can see all these special UOP pipelines that have been added um, when we customized Shogun as in one of our early videos. The one we are going to use today for our ROMs is UOP FBX character export only. Now this is really important that we use this one for our ROMs, character export only. So with that pipeline selected now, what we need to do is to come up to this very top bar here and say run all pipeline operations. If we click that, progress bar at the bottom goes through. And now if we look at our database, we can see there's a little F symbol next to um, Andy and Lindel, or Andy ROM 001, sorry to show us the FBX file is there. And if I navigate to that folder in the database folder and I do date modified, you can see that Andy ROM 001 FBX has been exported. So let's go back and load in Lindel's ROM and run the same thing. We can discard that because we haven't made actually physical changes to that file. And with that loaded in, we can now come up to our pipeline and click run all pipeline operations again. And there we have it. We've just exported Lindel's ROM take there. And we're checking the database and we can see the FBX symbols. So we are now finished with the files that were originally in that database. So the next stage will be exporting the data from the fight takes that you've been working on. Now, depending on your preferred workflow and how you've organized your files, you will have a folder somewhere with working files in. And this is what I've done is if you go to CT6 mocap and I go to my fight sequence, I've made a folder here called working files. And within here, you'll have numerous versions of the different files. Now you'll need to load in whatever your final versions are that you've been through and solved your labeling and solving setups for, ready to export that data to drive our characters in Motion Builder. So if we go back into um, Shogun Post, we can go up to our file, open, and we can navigate to our working files folder and start by bringing in 
fight section 104. Mine's, mine's called version 5, cleaned and solved. Yours might be version 15, underscore vinyl, version 2, um, whatever. Just make sure you identify the final version of your cleaned and solved file and load that in. So let me open that. And now we can see we have our file with our two characters in with all of our data cleaned. If I select one of the characters and hit Q, you see no gaps found. That means I've cleaned that. And again, I've solved the solving setups and I've solved the labeling setups in post-processing tab to make sure the swords are solved and the characters are solved. So this one is now ready for export. So we now need to use a different pipeline operation to export this. If we go into the pipeline menu and see the current pipeline, use that drop down menu and we'll see UOP FBX props export. Now this is a slightly different script that will deal with exporting the labeling setups for the props and the characters. And you can see there's a number of different entries in our pipeline. We don't have to worry about what each of them does, but all we need to do now is to go to the top and run all pipeline operations. Again, to reiterate, for our fight takes, we need to use the UOP FBX props export pipeline and then run all pipeline operations. And that will have saved that version back to that folder. You see in my working files, I now have FBX files in there. Yeah? So let's go through and load the other fight sequences that I finished. Open 2 2, load that one in. Go over to my pipeline operations and click on the run all pipeline operations. And again, we can check in that folder and there's that scene file saved, FBX. And then again, we'll go into our, open our last one up, fight section 3A05, open that. And just a quick note here, when you open it first, you saw that everything was selected. I can deselect that and check the scene if I want to, or I can just straight away, as soon as it's loaded in, go over and run all these pipeline operations. So as you can see, it's a very quick process for exporting all of our um, scene files. And again, I can double check in here. I have my FBX files for all of my scenes. And if I go into the mocap database folder, you can see I have my ROM takes. So what we'll do next in the next video is load all of those into Motion Builder and make sure that everything is okay um, and do a brief little overview of the user interface.